that that is the land that we were supposed to sh share amongst each other but we didn't get that because we we committed sins and then the Lord he didn't he didn't give us because we sinned judges too but don't worry we're gonna get that we're, we're gonna get the entire planet earth I mean I often say this but you had the you have the heathen nations that are not the favorite of the Lord and still their occupations and their rulership and authority over lands surpasses us we had a small portion compared to theirs they have like the world Esau has literally the world actually he doesn't he, he wants it but uh, he has more let me see Esau has a big portion of the planet Earth, I'll tell you that. This is the Roman Empire. The Greek Empire, the Roman Empire is bigger. But now he has like the whole world. Uh, I didn't say it again wrong, sorry. He doesn't have the places of um, the Arabs and stuff like that. They have their places too, so yeah. Lose from that. And also, of course, China. But the world authority is Esau. But these Chinese have a rulership also over their lands, and the Arabs also have it, you know. So yeah, they're kind of fighting amongst those three other kind of superpowers on the planet Earth: Esau, Moab, and Ishmael. They're the kind of super. You could say it's superpowers on the Earth. Ishmael is more so a, a religious power. China is more of a yeah, kind of economic powerhouse. Esau is the military of on the planet Earth. And the kind of money, you know, he, he kind of has everything. Money, the weapons, and uh, all that there. And, and of course, Satan. And uh, Ishmael has the same thing too, which is uh, the religious power that he has. And also the money with the oil. And China has the same thing too. To a certain degree, but Esau's the top guy. He's like the main guy, top top cat or top top rat actually, top rat, uh, rat. No, an albino lab rat at that. Right. So I think I'm done. And um, yeah. So every time you see, oh, oh yeah, I'm not done yet. Wait, it's, it's, it's here. Gabal and Ammon, which are Japan, Amalek, which are the Israeli. The Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyree, which are the Mizraim and Canaan. The Phoenicians are Canaanites. They called them. They called them Phoenicians. The, the Greeks called them Phoenicians. The Greeks called them that. They called them Phoenicians. Right. According to the Greek mythology, Europe, daughter of Phoenician king, was born in Tyre, or Europe, 
that's a woman. That's actually a woman. Where's uh, here? Um, let me see. This one. Europa. That's actually a Phoenician that they worship as a so-called black female because they want to make her think that, yeah, we're worshiping you. You're an Israelite. That's a Phoenician. Statue of Liberty here. Europa Statue of Liberty. Yeah, this one. That's a Phoenician. That's because these these cave people, these Edomites, they worship the the gods of Ham, and then they make them into this, just like how all. Just like how all the Roman, the sorry, here discipline here, the Romans, pragmatic and this what disciple the disciplined adopted most of the Greek gods and goddesses into their own pantheon and then they did this is the funny thing about the Caucasus race they hate you but they will take your gods they took Yahweh Shai made it Caesar Borgia they took everything of ours like jazz blues rock and roll our inventions so-called black inventions but they hate you they took it and then started to roll with it as if it's theirs because that is what they do they hated the Greeks, but they did to take their god. But the Greeks, they say that their their gods, the Greek their gods, came from Africa. Um, Did I spell it good? Herodis. Herodis. Greek mythology. Okay. Um. No, then it wasn't. Wait. Wait. Oh, sorry. I, I misspelled it. It's actually. Herodotus. Herodotus. And what did he say? This country produces great quantities of gold, has an abundance of elephants and all woodland trees and ebony, and its men are the tallest, most handsome, and the longest lived. They live very long. And Zeus was called an Ethiop, which Ethiop means... charred complexion it actually means burnt face here face I here I burn I face complexion so what is charred black burned here this is how they called us not us sorry this is how they call all of us they called us burnt skin people because your skin look burnt to them and they don't look burnt to themselves even though This happens to them. No, 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 that's acid. But anyway, this happens to them. Suffering severe sunburns. They start to get blisters and shit. That's burnage. But then again, it doesn't matter, you know? <coughs> Sorry, we have different shades of brown. We're earthlings. Native Americans have this skin color also. So... Uh, they're brown skinned people also right that's burnt but anyway burnt complexion charred complexion burnt complexion 
that's what it is that's an ethiop so <laughs> okay ethiop yeah this is the pro so-called proper way of spelling it i spelled it english arabic word uh, uh what archaic words for burnt face that's what it is ethiops it means burnt face Sharp complexion, burn face. It's the same thing, man. They just change stuff. Anyway, Ethiopia. That's how you spell it according to the Greeks. But he was called um, <laughs> the, the, look, Reddit and stuff like that. And also this thing, Quarry. These are like real people that go and ask these questions because they're confronted with these things what oh yeah you also have a god named Ammon yeah yeah idol whatever which was a Hamite thing you know but you also had the people of Ammon here like for example the god Ammon or Ammon whatever it's the same thing These Hamites had that. Amun, Amon, yeah. Amen, sometimes Amen, sometimes uh, Amon, like Ammonite. But the Ammonites are Japanese. But yeah, so one of the titles of Zeus was Ethiop, which means black, it means burnt face actually, but anyway, it goes into it. But the point of me, so, okay, so what is Zeus? Roman Empire. He's Jupiter. Here. His name is conate with the first syllable of his Roman equivalent. Equal in value. It's the same. Jupiter. Zeus. Zeus is Jupiter. Zeus was a black person that the Greeks used to worship. But then the Romans, being racist, <laughs> they called him Jupiter. But actually, there wasn't actually racist on skin tone. The Romans was not. The Europeans were. They made him white. But the Romans basically just changed the name after they beat up the Greeks. <laughs> Ain't that funny? But then you had an Israelite. You had an Israelite king that uh, Amaziah, Valley of Salt. And threw them off a rock. Okay, let me see something. First, second, second Chronicles. Right, Second Chronicles. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Because that's exactly what happened with, with our people too. <laughs> uh, 25 actually. Now you had this, uh, yeah, I, I missed type, sorry. You had this king that killed Edomites <laughs> 10,000 of them and another 10,000 left alive that the children of Judah carry away captives um, children of Seir 10,000 he killed them so this guy killed them the king Amaziah 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 okay he killed them and then the other 10,000 left alive we put into slavery on the Judah and brought them onto the top of the rock and cast them down from the top of the rock that they were uh, that they all were broken in pieces <laughs> so we threw them off rocks and stuff like that right the Edomites we, we yeah we killed them thousands of them so he killed 10,000 there in Seir and then the other 10,000 we took them and then we threw them off a cliff but later on, if you read the scriptures, it's going to tell you that this same man that was killing the, 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 the king of Judah, he started to worship, that was, that was smitten the Edomites, and then heart is lifted up, right, 
thou sayest, Lo, thou hast smitten the Edomites, and thine heart lifted thee up to boast. Abide now at home. Why shouldest thou mellow to thy, mellow to thy hurt? Yeah, don't, 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 don't mellow too much. You're going to hurt yourself. That thou shouldest fall, even thou, and Judah with thee. But Amaziah would not hear, for it came of the heavenly father, that he might deliver them into the hand of their enemies, because they sought after the gods of Edom. So he started to kill them. And then later, he started to worship the gods of the Edomites. And then the Lord was going to kill him for that. So the Lord didn't kill him for the ten thousands of thousands of people that he killed of the Edomites. He didn't judge him for that. He judged them because he followed after the same race of the people that he killed. He followed after their God. So that was a stupid move. But that's the same thing Esau's doing. <laughs> he hates the Romans. Sorry, he hates the Greeks. He killed them. He destroyed their, their empire. Because the, the Romans beat up the, the Greeks. And then they started to follow after their gods, which is funny as hell. But yeah, our people did the same thing too. So, well, not our people as well. Well, our people actually did. But in focus, he did. He, he did that. But if you, if you look at it right now, I mean, I mean, don't they follow this? Don't, don't, they, don't they follow this? Look, she looks like a white woman. <laughs> Look at her. This is what I'm telling you. I'd rather have an ED open because this is fucking bullshit. You know? I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't with these people. I can't. I, I know I didn't spell it right, but. And if she's straightening her hair, I'm not, I don't like it. But some of them are born like this. This one. I have no problem with that whatsoever. But if your hair is like this. And then you make it this. I don't really like you. Because I know what you find beautiful. Be I'll be like, no, 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 no. I don't look like that. So if you find that extremely beautiful enough for you to put it on your own head. Yeah, I think it's about time for me to go find me another woman. This one, for example. And if you straighten your hair, I'm out of there. Yeah, that might be a demon. But <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not even doing that, man. I'm just telling you what I think in my head what I would do. I'm not doing that. So, just to let you know, like, hey, that's actually wicked, nigga. Yeah, you're right. But I didn't do it. I said it. I'm, I'm thinking it. I never did that, man. You know? And first and foremost, I would scan you to see pictures or something like that if you ever straightened your hair. <laughs> and I would be like, nope. I don't think I want to be with you. Because I'd be like, no, you're going to straighten my daughter's hair. That's about the time that I want to, you know. I'm not going to hit you, but I'm going to say I do. You know, But I'm not going to do that, kid. Anyway, so I'd rather not. Uh, just like Soldier Slim said, if I got to beat you, then I don't need you. As simple as that. Simple as that. But I would really want this one then. Why? Because, I don't know, being with this or... I just can't. I just don't want to. I don't want to. I refuse. I have standards. <laughs> I'd rather be with a heathen than an Israelite woman. I have to say that. And not because of uh, their looks or something like that. There's a lot of beautiful jigs out there. I just showed you one. The one, the, the woman from... Uh, I think I clicked it away. The woman from coming to America. Yeah, but sometimes these people do look like Israelites sometimes. Like this one. But I can still kind of see that she's not an Israelite. You know, I, I don't know her face or something. This one I would definitely know that that's not an Israelite. And this one with her tiny nose. Definitely not. She did straighten her hair though. This one also did it. It's just not a beautiful look. I don't know. You just look weird. Anyway, enough of this. Wait, I'm going on. I think I'm done. But yeah, they took the gods of Egypt. Sorry. Uh, 
Yeah, it, 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 the Greeks took the gods of Egypt. Well, not just Egypt, just Ham, Africa. And then the Romans took the gods of the Greek Greeks and then gave them different names. And then the Europeans made them all caucus. <laughs> Roman gods. Roman gods. Here, this one. Made them all this. <laughs> I'm telling you, these people are devils, boy. They're real devils. These are all these are all Hamites. All of them. Going back to the so called Greek gods and um and they and, and, and they, those Greek gods were, were Hamites. You had a few Israelites there that was being worshipped as gods, which is Her Hercules. Hercules. And you also had You also had this. You have their, um, their, their, their statues. I'm sorry, their deities. All had these things. <coughs> these are their gods that they used to worship. I saw another one over here, and you can put the ping pings on their head. Let me see. Um, This one, it's the same. This is a Hamite. Now, this is an Israelite, and this was uh, an Israelite being worshipped by the Asiatic people. This is an Israelite being worshipped by the Asiatic people. They used to worship them as gods. They weren't. And this is Medusa. Medusa was a black female with Rasta on her head. This was it. Ain't no goddamn body got no goddamn snakes on their head. This looked like a bunch of goddamn snakes. Right? That is what they was saying. Medusa was a black female with hair like this. So, every time you see a black female with Rasta, you should think of how the... Ro ro who was it? Romans or the Greeks? Let me see something. I think it's Roman. Oh, it's Greek. Okay. Right. Medusa was a black female that they worship because she was a very powerful witch. Just like the witch at Endor, which is also an Israelite. In the book of Samuel. Here. The witch at Endor that had a familiar spirit. She was so powerful. She could conjure up uh, Samuel, man. And he was deceased. Seek me a woman that had familiar spirit that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servant said unto him, Behold, there is a woman that had a familiar spirit at Endor. Saul said so. First Samuel 28 and 7. Then said Saul unto his servants. So this woman, she was an Israelite woman that had a uh, very powerful spirit, a familiar spirit on her. And that spirit could conjure up dead people. And it's real. It's not that nonsense that you see when Esau is trying to make it seem as if all these it's about that. gypsies, oh. glass bowl gypsies, what gypsy? Hmm. This thing, don't think that all of them are fake. Esau is making it seem as if all of them are fake. They're not. They do real stuff. <laughs> Pardon. They do real stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? The witch at Endor could do these things. If she was even better than them. She could she could literally call the dead up for you and make you see the dead with your eyes. That's the type of power that she had. 
And that's the type of power that Medusa had. Yeah. And that's why they worshipped her as a god. Because if you... How do they call... Um, let me see. No. Michael Jack... Michael Jordan. They start worshiping him. Ten NBA legends confess confessing Michael Jordan was a god, and uh, people say that Michael Jackson was a god because the word god means power, but they don't mean it like that. They mean it as if he's greater than the regular people upon the planet Earth, and actually, he actually is. <laughs> His name is double blessed, Micah Allah, which means he is like God, and Jordan, which is the favored river of the Heavenly Father. That's in the Apocrypha. I think it's second address. Um, let me see. The River Jordan. No, then it's the first address. I think. Okay. Then it could be Wisdom of Solomon. Okay. Then it could be. Sarah? I don't think it's Sarah. No. Lily. Sorry. Oh, it's not it's not mentioned as that way, sorry. It is I think it is here. Yeah, it is not mentioned as uh Jordan. It's mentioned as the run river and that river is Jordan. Yeah, that's that's I, I knew it was in second Genesis. Uh check Genesis chapter five. And of all the lands of the world, verse 24, and of all the lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen the one pit, that's the land of Israel, and of all the flowers thereof, one lily, the Most High finds, he said that Solomon, Luke chapter 12, verse 27. Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not. They spin not. So they don't basically work. And yet I say unto you, that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. So, the Most High calls the lily plant the most beautiful thing, plant. And even Solomon was not as beautiful as the lily because this is decorated with perfection. I find this one beautiful. What's it again? Let me see. Scarlet. <laughs> Pardon. Star. And you have different colors of these, by the way. You know. But yeah, this is in its perfection. If you look at the plant, it's more beautiful than King Solomon. We as people might not understand that, but the Heavenly Father knows what he's saying. So, yeah, they were they are not arrayed, and arrayed means you know, displayed. I'm oh, sorry. These plants, these lilies, are more this beautiful displayed than King Solomon in all in all his glory. Right, because these plants are perfect. The Heavenly Father created them such as such. And uh, Solomon, he made mistakes. You know, the women were one. <laughs> but he was a great wise king, yeah. But 
Nehemiah 13 said, 13 and 26, Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Yet among many nations was there no king like him. So he was very glorious, yeah. Who was beloved of his power, Yahweh. And Yahweh made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause the sin. So you need to watch out with these females of another nation. Don't be a sucker. Right? But when we have power, that's something else then. Because then you can own them. Deuteronomy 20. Now you can't own them. Deuteronomy 21.10 When thou goest forth to war, again, war, start making friends, killings, against thine enemies, though those not your friends, and Yahweh thy power, that had delivered them into thine hands, and thou hast taken them captive. So you, you, you know, you enslave them. And see us amongst the captives a beautiful woman of your enemies that you went to war with. You killed them. And as a desire unto her that thou wouldest have her to thy wife. You wanna you wanna you wanna you wanna stick your dingling in her moist, warm, slippery cave. Whoop 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 almost falling and stuff like that. Let me see. Slippery ice. This one. And I think it's this. Nope. I think it's the ground ice. I I don't think I know. But yeah, I want I want to have something ground ice. Yeah, he's gonna freeze him. I don't want that. I want them to slip around. MK3. It's actually very funny. The way that uh, they slip. <laughs> it's actually very funny. Nah. Can't see it, but it goes like this. That one. And then when people walk over it, <laughs> they slip. <laughs> but I just want to... Ah, here. It's a meme, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's that's that cave. You know. Oh! Look at it here. Wow, I actually found it. Yeah, is, is it not showing? Motherhood. Right. This is slow. He's done slow and he's on a normal speed. <laughs> yeah. That's you. Yeah, that's that's what you're gonna do to that cave of hers. Anyway, I need to save this one because I always I always laugh when I see that thing. <laughs> yeah, it's childhood. Uh, let me see. Where did I Right. Have us to thy wife. Have her to thy wife. And thou shalt bring her home to thine house, and she shall shave her head and paw her nails, and she shall put the raiment off her. And, what? and she shall put the raiment of her captivity from off her, and shall remain in thine house against her will, and bewail her father and her mother a full month. Express great regret, sadness, disappointment of something. Why is she going to bewail her father and her mother? Did you take them out to dinner? The father and the mother? No. Their bones be rotten. Somewhere somewhere where you put them. A full month. And after that, thou shalt go in unto her. That's, that's, uh, that's, not a, that's against her will. You know? Look, some of these females that actually have Stockholm Syndrome, and some of them don't. They don't want it. This is, this is against her. You want to force yourself on her. You should. You, do you want the other name for it? <laughs> and be her husband. Force her, for you to be her husband, and she shall be thy wife. Right. Thou has humbled her. Yeah. You humble someone. 
that's forced cause to feel less of no, no, your defeat if and, and, and you are superior to her huh? yeah yeah anyway you defeated her and uh, yeah you humbled them because she's defeated and some of them might start to like it and some of them don't it depends on their mentality that's why the Heavenly Father made these females able to cope with the strongest one just like an animal you see an animal they pick the strongest one for protection and breeding capabilities so that their children their offspring are better off that's what females have they have that type of mindset they could just be with one guy one day and the next day when that guy is killed they could be with another you know it's possible or when she's kidnapped by a serial killer and she's kept alive and not killed like the others she might start to form a relationship with him because of her mind and 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 especially if she has children with the, with that guy then the children are loved beyond your imagination be like motherfucker that's the guy that was raping you for three fucking years. What the fuck you love those kids for? No, they're mine. They're mine. Just lock him up. Not, not my, don't take my kids from me. What? Those are his kids. What are you talking about? No, they're mine. See? See? Her mind is, uh, her, her mind is warped. They love the enemy seed in them. I'm telling you, it's real. Uh, you could look up history. Um, let me see. For example, wait, right, now this is a video that this devil did, his name is Black Pigeon, I don't like him, he's a devil, but anyway. Seek to retain their cult. Um, here, you had the Dutch women, they was uh, doing Nazi things, I mean, uh, dancing naked for Nazis, these are Nazis, and this is a Dutch woman, and the French too, and then later on, when the Nazis fell, the Dutch women were paraded in the streets. They shaved them bald, and then they put the swastika on their head, was smacking them around left and right and stuff like that, because they're traitors. Traitors. They willingly go with the stronger side, but not all, because these obviously didn't do that. But you had a big portion of them, and you know who's the weakest of them all? Chinese women. A few top men had access to multiple women while the bottom 60% of men had no mating prospects out of the different children already of men instead helped success. Even today, many nation of do so at the bent achievement expect there was of migrants bent on theft brought to society hmm. and the damage done to a love you to hold on to that I do real brought to their society unquote at being loyal. Yeah. The Japanese woman who married and the enemy, yeah, because they're disloyal. That's what they did. 70 years ago, many Japanese people in occupied Tokyo after World War II saw US troops as the enemy. But then thousands, thousands, eh? Okay? Of young Japanese women married GI snootless and then faced the big struggle to find their place in the US. So they went to America with them. You're a fuck toy. But you love it. They love it. They will kill, hunt, burn, uh, castrate their own men just to be with a caucus meal. These are the spoils of war. Look at, look at this. She's smiling better than any caucus female in existence. And the Japanese man is powerless to knock those fucking teeth out of her mouth. Because this guy is going to burn you to death. And the Japanese man knows that. So he keeps himself with his uh, vagina tucked between his uh, his uh, legs like a dog with his penis actually tucked between his legs like a dog a dog that's when they that's when they've where they're nervous or, or submissive when they have been beaten like this one right the 
that this is the Japanese male. More so than the so-called black man. Right? Because they took our females also. Don't don't forget that. But the Japanese females are worse. You have no idea. No understanding. Wait. So, it says here, like many Japanese war brides, I just read about that. We had that. We have that rule too. Isa does it too. Hiroko had come from a fairly wealthy family, but could not see a future in a flattened Tokyo. So, but it's not only just about the future. What it is is they 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 just love the caucus. They love the power. They love the imagination that they came and basically killed all their men. And then the females is gonna look at you like you're fucking nothing. You're nothing. Tch. Fuck you. I'm gonna go with him. He's greater than you. Look, he puts you on your knees. You can't do shit against him. <laughs> and then they went off and walked into the sunset with Esau. Instructions to all Japanese. You didn't have... Um, you didn't have this these type of boards no niggers no Jews and no dogs you didn't have no goddamn Japanese and, and built book and Chinese and stuff like that you know them don't have these type of things over there no niggers no dogs and no no worries some of them had Italians and stuff like that but they rarely had no no uh, Chinese and all that, that type of they did have it but it was not really like widespread because a lot of them had that you know you have racist people let me see they have Japanese tattoos wait wait uh, no wait I don't even know how you spell that word. You got my supremacy? Chinese tattoos? They got Chinese tattoos too, man, these people. Some of them things have Chinese uh, tattoos. <laughs> yeah, here. But he's just one. Um, there's many of them. You know? There's many of them that have uh, these Chinese tattoos and stuff like that. Yeah, here, this guy I'm looking for. This guy, this is a black sun. So, like I often say, like I often say, these Edomites, they have all these logos to show you how much they hate you. All of them represents hate toward this one. Uh, I just showed you here, this one. <laughs> that one there. So these Edomites, they have all these groups to show how much they hate you. But what do our people have? <laughs> they have all these gang signs and so-called gang group shit to show how much they hate themselves. Which probably says, fuck a nigga in the hood that is not from the hood, but he's walking around in my hood. Fuck a nigga, shoot a nigga in the head and let that nigga know I hate a dark skinned nigga. A nigga that look like me, brown skin, whatever dark skin. Hate the bitch ass niggas. I'm gonna kill them all. That's what I got from these gang signs. Hail Satan on the nigga tip, triple six. Bitch ass niggas die. Whole ass niggas come around. And get killed if you're not from my hood. What's that you claim, nigga? All that that type of shit, right? That's all I get from this. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a finger reader. Right? They're really trying to show themselves off. Right, gang signs, um, my gang. Anyway, they show how much they hate themselves, and they show how much they hate you. All these represent one thing. Fuck you, niggas. 
That's what it represents. Even their numbers. Yeah, I think you got the 88 also. The number 88. You know, they got the, the double S. Look like two lightnings. And uh, why you call this female again? They put that in the cartoon. <laughs> Another cartoon, sorry. They put that in the series. And it looks like she has two S's. <laughs> then with that went over a lot of people's heads you know they was like oh that just means two s's she's just super strong now super strong super super girl that's fucking some kkk shit man <laughs> if you didn't know <laughs> but anyway this is the evil super girl you know she wears black of course black and red but but black and then the other one wears blue she's the good guy and this one is proud and strong and all that type of bullshit and this one is very passive and submissive and loving and all that that type of crap alone <laughs> this one kills this one wants to help you and doesn't want to kill you but yeah they put that in there sneaky and i know that the most the majority of the people don't see that because <laughs> they don't know them logos of them people that hate your guts they're not even interested they only know gang signs and Thug nigga this and thug nigga that. That's all they know. That's all they're interested in. Because they don't know war. They don't know that they are at war. Actually, the enemies at war with them. <laughs> uh, they don't know that. But uh, yeah. But you had the Japanese females. They were traitors. Until this day. is they even bigger traitors now than they were back then. But actually, back then it's actually heavier. Because back then, he just got done killing your whole fucking race. Well, not your whole race, but... He killed the few hundred ton, the hundred thousand people, motherfucker. He killed the fucking few hundred thousand people. And you fly over to America to be his fuck toy. That's exactly what you are, and they love it so. They didn't go against their will; they went freely, and that's the same thing that we're gonna have. We're gonna have these females. We're gonna butcher your nation, and then we're gonna take your wife, your, your females. We're gonna take you because you're gonna come with it you're gonna want it and if you don't want to <laughs> we shall see but anyway uh, you have a lot of them that are going to want to of these heathen nations it's history that's how these females are programmed they go with the power in the future they don't necessarily go for uh, yeah money they go with power more so than with money because you know you have authority you can kill people and get away with it they are afraid but also fascinated with you that's why you have these 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 gangbangers and stuff like that these vons and these these little dirks that's why they're being worshipped so so hard by these females because they killed people and they're still walking around upon the planet earth the, the females are going to look at them like wow you can't fuck with him and, and that's the mentality that they actually have toward the mighty men. <laughs> Back in the days, they were mighty men. And a lot of females would flock to them because he's strong. He gets stuff done. He, get things, he gets things done. He has a different mindset. It don't matter to them if you have blood on your hands. It's a female. It thinks different. As long as you can so-called get away with it and she sees that. She's going to stick around. She's going to willingly, actively seek for you. Because that's her nature. But, this, but the Chinese and the Japanese females are more submissive. And the Vietnamese, the Japhetic people too. They're very submissive toward that. That's why they flock to the caucus in their hundreds of thousands. Millions even. Just to get a baby with them. And to live amongst them. Um, didn't go well with her relatives. Of course, of course it didn't go well. You know, but that's what they do. They don't give a shit about you. Fuck you. Sleeping with the enemy. New book claims French women started the baby boom with Nazi men during uh, Vichy re regime. So meanwhile, while their men was getting stomped out with that Nazi boots, they were spreading their legs, getting stomped out with that Nazi caucus pee pee. You know, they don't care. They look next door, see how a dude of their family or something like that, or of their so-called country, gets beaten to smithereens and killed. 
and she's out there sucking them off. You know? They don't give a shit. So, once that time comes, we're going to find women like that boy. You know? We're going to find you. We're going to find you that you want to be with us and because we're going to have the power. You're going to want to. You're going to want to. And the Israelite woman is not going to say anything. She can't. She can't. Well, she can. She can try. So, see what happens. <laughs> see what the Lord is going to do. We shall see. You're not going to say anything. Especially if once you start finding out, like, that's not a good idea. To open your mouth against a God on the planet Earth. I don't think you should open your mouth against them. That's not a good idea. You know, then you can walk around like this. Now is your now is your time to shine. And what if you shown in your shiny time? You shown this straight up discontent and disdain for the Israelite man by looking like the like the caucus female, the caucus male pleaser. That's what you look like to me. You know, so hey, you have your glory right now, which is this. And later on, we're going to have our glory, which is authority and power. You're not going to walk around with this goddamn shit on your head. I'll tell you that. You, you're not going to do that. You might think you are. Because I've seen a few females talking about, yeah, we're going to have the th What? Okay. you going to have something to say in the kingdom? Okay. <laughs> I hope you do. I just hope you try. I want to see it. I just want to see it emboldened <laughs> right so I think I'm done and um, I went into a little bit story mode didn't expect that wasn't planning that <laughs> but yeah the difference between um, Ashur oh yeah yeah I already kind of covered this Anyway, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Ashur, also is joined with them. They have help in the children of Lot. This is a child of Lot, and this is a child of Lot, and Ashur is here. <coughs> Sorry. David defeats the, the uh, Aram, which is Syria. But here you have Ammon, and down there you have let me get this one here here you have Moab and here you have Haman Ammon and what were they doing they were they were with the children of Lot sorry they are the children of Lot but they went with the children of Aram you know uh, in Assyria they they was um, mingling with uh, one another in order to fight against us the Israelites you know they were joining forces with them with these people and of course here the Arabians uh, Arabian uh, deserts and uh, they was joining forces with them so you had Moab here and Ammon here they was joining forces with these people and of course these people and they was uh, fighting against us as Israel against the Israelites <laughs> right so yeah I'm going on yes yeah, so that's it do unto them as unto the Midianites as to Sisera, as to Jabin, at the book of Kishon, which perished at Endor, they became as dung for the earth. They became as fertilization for the earth. Why? Because first and foremost, nobody buried them. And second, they made the soil rich again by giving it a uh, compost. You're a compost heap. This is what you are. You're making the soil rich <laughs> with your nutrients, with your, with your uh, natural gases. <laughs> you became as dung as, as nutrients, as a heap, a compost heap, or, or a mist, actually, a mist. Quit mm. mist. This is cow shit. I don't know how you say that in the English. Uh, messed hope. Here, this is a uh, cow cow dung. 
and then of course plants and stuff like that but it's cow dung oh yeah cow dung cow dung man that's what you that's what you are gonna become you're gonna become fertilizer to the earth <laughs> They became as dung for the earth. <laughs> All of you are gonna become as dung for the earth, just like under the, just like the Midianite Caesarea. I think this was a Hamite. I'm not sure. I need to read that story again. I think this was in the Book of Judges somewhere. Yeah, Judges four. If I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Jabin, Canaan. He was Canaan. Yeah. Oh, Caesarea. Yeah. Here. See? Yeah. So, and, uh, I think he was a Hamite also. Canaan is a Hamite, by the way, as you can see here. King of Canaan. The captain of whose. Yeah, it's a, it's a Hamite. It's a Canaanite. <coughs> Sorry. Wow. Okay. <coughs> that cough came out of nowhere. Well, not nowhere, but it didn't come expected. It just flapped out. So, sorry about that. Kishon Sisari, the captain of Jabin's army. The river Kishan, Sisari, the captain of Jabin's army. Yeah, I think he was a uh, Canaanite. It, um, yeah, I think so. He might have been Mizraim, but but the point is he's a Hamite, right? And um, let me see. Jael killed him. She was the wife of uh, of a Midianite. Heber the Kenite is a Midianite. From the. Let me see here. Here. Hobab, the son of Ragu, the Midianite. Moses' father in law. Hobab, right? Now Heber the Kenite, uh, Judges 4 and 11. Now Heber the Kenite, which was of the children of Hobab, the father-in-law of Moses. He was actually the brother-in-law, but the father-in-law was his father, which is Raguel. Or Raguel. You know, it's spelled different sometimes. But anyway, that there you have it. That's it. So she, she actually married a heathen. Jael. You know, but uh, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom.